I don't really watch the news. I don't really get involved in politics. I don't really like what I see on the news. I'm not really interested in. I was so like, like blase about the whole thing, about what's going on in the world. I didn't get, I, I didn't care. There's a lot of censorship going on and there's a lot of people don't feel that they can speak. You can be censored in ways that you don't even realize you've been censored. But I always feel bad that I'm not interested in it. I always feel like I need to know more about the world and understand more that's going on politically around me. But this has kind of opened my eyes up to, to doing it, to, to, to seeing how we can change or how we can change lives. If I go back to doing my full-time job, which I hate by the way, if I go back to doing my full-time job next week, which I will do, um, it's all good because I've had this experience. There's been some intense sessions and I wouldn't have said so much information to anyone else. It's just crazy. Yeah. Freedom of expression is what you make it, man. Mm. If you've got the balls to stand up for what you believe in, that's all game. Index on Censorship and Project Pacama came together to develop uh, the Tripoyas project. Uh, project Pacama is a youth arts organization. We work internationally. Uh, we've been existing since 1996. Uh, we started as a collaboration between South Africa and the UK. Pacama means elevate, empower yourself, rise up. In Kosa, one of the South African languages. And that's what Pakama does. We empower young people using the arts as a tool for them to develop skills and become leaders of their communities and beyond. Index on Censorship is a freedom of expression organization that's been running for 40 years next year. And uh, we publish, we campaign, we work internationally in the UK. We wanted to use the arts to explore our issues of freedom of expression and censorship with young people. They are experts of their own, their own ideas. You only have to have a, a conversation for a couple of minutes and about freedom of expression and you say, yes, yes, but where, where do you draw the line? And so we're interested in the lines for young people, um, where they intersect and what are the consequences of them crossing, which is why it's called tripwires, because sometimes it can be quite explosive. What we wanted to try to do was to find uh, a, a way in to this very heavy subject matter of freedom of expression and to develop a practical approach to the work where people physicalised ideas rather than debated or talked about them. Ten Lin is an artist from Burma. He shared with us the history of his life. He told us about how he was put in prison for seven years and how he was also tortured 
um, but that didn't stop him. Um, he developed like this really unique way of expressing himself through art and he's teaching us how to do it as well. <laughs> He also shared with us um, this collective meditation um, and that really incorporates the idea that freedom of expression can only happen from within. We're, we're working with a, a woman called Rose and what she basically does is like she's really, well she's actually really interested in like uh, censorship like within film and she wants to explore the whole idea of like who has the power like the power uh, like you know behind the set like who's pulling the strings basically and she did these examples with us which were really great actually where she um, made us the filmmakers and she became the censor so it was really, inter really, really interesting to see how it affected us as, as filmmakers. The camera is an amazingly powerful tool for what you can leave out like how you can focus on certain things and we know this about the media you know they can go into a town and they can make it look a certain way or they can go into a house and they can make it look a certain way so the reason for doing this is, is a very simple exercise but it shows that we can have strong reactions to not being in control of our work not being in control of what we've done who sees it who doesn't see it but also if we're a group, how we feel when we're not included, how we fe feel when we're told we're not allowed to see that. So it's just to explore what it's like for the people living in places where that's a reality. This writer, Gurpreet Korbati, yeah, she came in to deliver a workshop with us about her writing, and in it she speaks about basically this play that was considered controversial because of its content. It was banned in theatres up north. No one would, the community wouldn't see it. It's an interesting topic in my household. Like, I live in a shared house and one of the girls is sick. So I've got this play and I'm like, oh, I just read this play called Bestie. And she was like, I mentioned your name. And she was like, oh, I think I've heard of that writer and stuff. And I was like, okay, read the play. And she refused to read it, like yeah. everyone to their own, um, because of the content, because Bersley's got a scene in it that I read, it's, there's a rape that takes place in the Gurdwara. When you were writing your play, where did that kind of, where did the inspiration for that come from? I felt that by sending them into the Gurdwara, into the Sikh temple, it was a really um, extreme juxtaposition and a really extreme uh, setting to show the hypocrisy. Did you get any like people hating you? Like oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just a bit. Yeah. Just, yeah. How, how did you how did you deal with that? Like, what, what kind of stuff were you getting? Well, uh, I mean there were a few threats to uh, my life, so I actually had to. Um, I mean I don't know if you read the hug, but uh, I I actually had to leave my home. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just a writer, you know, I've got to just do my thing and do it with as much integrity, you know, to the best of my ability. Now having spoken to you, it is such a brave thing to do because when we're talking, having done, um, well this whole course is about censorship and freedom of expression, when we link it to how you're writing, you have the freedom to write whatever you want. If it's going to be offensive, you know, that's game, that's life. Martin Rosen uh, came into our session and he's a caricaturist. He's, he showed us a couple of slides of his work and work throughout history that he felt as being a perfect example of his form. He was telling us how satire and especially humour and caricature are a perfect way to keep people in power on their toes and in check and to remind them that that they're human just like us. The thing about cartoonists is that we are a very dangerous group and we are enormously privileged in this country to have been tolerated for as long as we have uh, and in other places we aren't tolerated. Now these bond markets, you know there's Ireland and behind it Greece that have been destroyed by bond markets. You know it's like having your economy defined or your lives defined by the opinions of a bookie round the corner who is constantly betting on whether you're going to die of a brain hemorrhage or lung cancer. 
That is how our society and how our world and our economy is currently being run, because we are totally subject to these markets. And yet nobody gets angry about that. They get angry about the fact that somebody's wearing sandals and it suggests they're gay, or they're being angry about the fact that somebody has possibly offended their religion. Mm. And there are more important things about real human beings, which is possibly why I've portrayed this bomb dealer as a pig. Dee Dee Hopkins has a great energy and outlook on the Tripwires project. Um, and I think we're going to work very well with her. Um, she's just introduced us to Comedia looking at characteristics and emotions in a very playful, slapstick way, um, using comedy to balance out quite a lot of intense, you know, um, hard discoveries that we, we're making about freedom of expression and censorship. Um, sometimes it's, you know, it's quite hard to deal with and to learn about, but Comedia has helped us find a lighter side to it all. Um, we are doing work with masks and looking at different emotions from the mask and within our bodies. And I think it's quite nice to, um, you know, see people's um, emotions come through their body and not just their facial expressions hiding behind the mask. There are types of characters and there are masks to go with it. Um, not all of the characters are masked, but that means that the actor has a freedom to inhabit the mask. And Perhaps, you know, you're talking about freedom of expression or flexibility. You know, it is about telling stories in your body. So whatever you end up doing, if you're using your body, the clarity with which you're telling a story just really helps your audience to understand it. And it transcends language. So you don't have to speak English or Dutch or French. You should be able to understand what's going on in the body because essentially... We like to see the story before we hear it. You bring yourself to it. You turn the template that I give you into your own. And that is the marriage of your, the beginning of the marriage of your creativity as an artist, as, a, as an actor, with somebody who's just sort of giving you a template. Because you are all completely different. The way I do it is not the way you do it. It's not about copying, as you can see. It's just fabulous. Kia has joined the Tripwires team. Today he split us into two groups where we explored sound and also visual image. We're really excited about how we're going to take this forward into the final performance and how we're going to use it as a different medium to express what we want to say. I think you've got to be quite careful when using digital technology in performance because it can kind of be a shorthand for being kind of good just because you're using some kind of piece of technology. That makes sense, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's like anything when you're performing. I, I kind of see technology to an extent. It, it can it can serve a lot of different roles. So it can serve it can be a prop, for example. Um, it can be a tool. It can be a, a, a way of kind of building a scene. Three, two, one. In these. Incredibly. In these. Incredibly. Distressing times. We will stand Incredibly. by you. Distressing times. We will stand in by you. Incredibly. We will stand by you. In we these, will stand by you. In these, we will stand in by you. Shut up, guys. Incredibly. I like that. When you step up and then when you're on, I'll do that. So, do you want to hold this to sign up again? So, let's just mark it. We created a safe space where it was okay to express your ideas and opinions without feeling fair or guilt and there was no right or wrong answers. And I think this taught me to be less judgmental because things may have been said which I may not agree with, but now I realize that everyone's an individual and their ideas and opinions should be respected regardless of whether or not you agree with it. Um, we also took part in a lot of activities that allowed us to physically explore what it means to trust each other. And I think these help to create, it, to create that free space and build that trust between us. And make the quality of the touch and the contact really strong. Don't be ashamed of any part of it, because then it starts to look tense. We use 
use Nacrobalance as a way for the young people to use physicality within the performance and use the metaphor, the language of, of Acrobalance in relation to freedom of expression. We, we, we are really exploring the relationship between our balance, how we use our both our physicality in the performance and use that language to uh, put across some of the stuff that we've been exploring. Later on, today we are going to the speaker corners over there to observe how people speak up about stuff that they are really passionate about and hopefully borrow some of that passion, some of those uh, topics to, to use in our performance. But also it's an opportunity for the young people to, to observe people, to observe characters and hopefully develop some characters of their own. And glorious appearing of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He's coming back again. Respond automatically and react to their insecure, oppressive environment. Some of them blame the color of their skin for their insecurity. Other individuals, understanding that their bodies, in fact, first instance is on your own, gather or decide what are the important stories for you, what, is, uh, what has been something that you think this is of interest to me for whatever reason. It could be something that we've done over the past 20 weeks, it could be something that you read right now but you think that's the thing I can't let go of, the thing you want to carry forward into the show. You could have like a birth scene. Like, just, yeah, because it's just interesting, I'm reading this, mm -hmm. and it's talking about, like, um, I don't know why I just read it, and it's talking about here, like, um, like, no ceremony can stop delivery, like, no power on earth can stop creation, and stuff like that, and it's talking about, um, mm. just about birth, basically. So I, I you wanna don't want to hold anything back? I don't want nothing back. When it wanted to come, I wanted to shatter them and plead with them and yeah. get the paper and slam it against the wall. Yeah. And just exactly. plead with them to read it. When he's talking, spit goes in the window and whatever. Yeah. I just yeah. want it to be really extreme. Okay. I want, like, it's as if I want someone to be really brave and walk, not like a proper runway thing, but have one person walk around, like the installation, but only in like a pair, of, like a bikini or a, a pair of hot pants saying Guantanamo. Music used as protest. Um, but also as torture. Maybe if we even planted that around the space and the audience members actually got to put headphones on and listen to it, mm. like they were led, we're, we're, we're losing people through, maybe they could put these things on and it could be something like the audience yeah. that you wrote. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is, we're getting sick. Are you grabbing Loretta? Okay, hold, 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 you have to let us stand up. Yeah. You have to let us stand up. Uh, Keep laughing, like. <laughs> 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 Strikes again. Uh -huh. the, the way that I saw it was someone, some, someone's there, just them, myself on a chair, just sitting there, yeah. just staring in the mirror, and I can see the reflection and the yeah. reflection of his face. Yeah. So if you come here and Lars yeah. goes there, yeah, you'll see him. Is that what you mean like this? You can be tired at times, left feeling tired and run down, but where does it build up? Does it? Wasting time after time, rhyme after rhyme. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. We 
gonna have to we're gonna have to keep moving fast okay uh, it's about us working together as we said but we're gonna keep moving what's the message of the catwalk it's kind of saying that we all have the same base that we are all human but we just have different we, we make different decisions in life i choose to cover up she chooses so to Jen, be a conventional yeah. model please please stop I beg you. I beg you. Please, please stop. I beg you. I beg you. Please, please, please. I beg you. I beg you. Please, please, please stop. Twice. I beg you. I beg you. Please, please stop. I beg you. I beg you. Please, please stop. I beg you. I beg you. Please, please stop. Don't start something. I won't be. That don't make no sense. What if I don't start nothing? I won't be nothing. Yeah. I like that. If I don't start nothing, I start so far. No, 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 no. You know you won't. But I'm not. That is a gangster. That is a gangster. Bring it up. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe if we do something with the wig yet, and you're like pulling it out, and slowly, slowly pulling your hair out, and it's like underneath. Shedding, shedding the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need a wig. And you. over like my, over like my underwear and stuff, it can have like the words of like. Whatever. Whatever's personal to you. Yeah. Same with you, Ricky. Whatever's I'll personal. Sorry, tonight, darling. Um, you know what? Whatever's personal to you about the catwalk, so it's about expressing who we are. You know what you're doing, darling. You're just gonna get naked for me. Uh, oh, for you. And this is this is quicker now, right? But this, like, this is when we're on together. So I was so cool, cool, blah blah blah, cool, cool, cool. Well, no, we're going to be stripping off as we go along. Trust me. Wait, when I'm doing it right, how do you do it? Go on, forward. Jambala hey. Jambala hey. Jambala no sa creo. Jambala no se creo. Jambala he. Jambala he. Always a good thing. Right now, I've got pissed off. I hit on the marble floor. The bow. Yeah. 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 Even they know the difference between male and a female. Yeah? What's your point? Yeah, and it's all the time. Hold fire! Hold fire! Hold fire! Hold fire! Hold fire! Hold fire! Hold
have been the south! Freedom is me! Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir, 112, 143, what's that about? That's, that's the next number. There's not even 133 people here. I need to comment to find out why my application was refused. Sign in. No, I need to sign that. Why was my application refused? No, I cannot sit down. Why was my application refused? Why was my application refused? Why was my application refused? Oh, we're going to have to close early. Have you come this way? Yeah. Sorry about that. Get out. Why was my application refused? Get out. My dad's from the Caribbean. He's black, yeah? My dad is black, yes. That's exactly why your application is being denied. That is totally irrelevant. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Don't tell anyone. But I touched. And I tasted. And I liked. I liked it. I actually liked it. You can be tired and run down, you can be tired. But when does it build up? Does it ever? Do you intend to help yourself or others? You waste time after time. My rhyme after rhyme, waste time. So good to be living in London. In great, great, really, really great Britain. I'm free, right? Free to breathe, free to live, free to love. But am I free to think? I sometimes feel as if I'm meant to think and stay inside the box. Think like others, believe what I'm told. But I'll do as I say. I won't believe everything I read in the newspaper or everything I see on the TV. I'll make my own mind up. Bring your tanks here, I will stand. Truth is a stone, I will hold in my hand. Get out the way, don't cross the line. Don't you know the law? Can't you be 